Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and guess what? I can't be in your class today, but that's okay. I'm going to still show you how to do a buyer presentation. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so I want you to go to agent.kw.com and sign in. If you don't have your laptop, don't worry. Follow along. You can go back and watch this video anytime. So go to agent.kw.com. Use your color cloud login to sign in. Click sign in. We're going to go to designs. It's the third icon on the left hand side or the third from the bottom. I mean, the third from the bottom applet or icon on the left hand side. So I'm going to click on designs. We are going to click on, let me move my face over. We're going to click on create design. We're going to click on print and click continue. This is going to take us into WeBrand. And if you can't get into designs, you can always go to kw.webrand.com, kw.webrand.com. And then on the left hand side, you can see all these headings. We're going to click on buyer and then we're going to click on buyer presentation. You can see that all of these are ready made templates for you. You just have to go in and edit these. So I'm just going to go into the first one. I'm going to hover my mouse over this use button until it turns blue and then click the button. When that loads, you can see I have my um, first page here. I'm going to click skip on this and all you have to do is update this information. So it says your guide to home ownership and you're going to put your client's first and last name here. But if you don't have a client and you just want a ready made presentation, you're just going to click on that box to highlight it and press the delete key on your, on your keyboard. Same thing with the Royal Realtors logo. You're going to click on it to highlight it with the blue bars and then click delete on your keyboard. The same thing with the image placeholder underneath it. You're going to select it and click delete because we do not have, um, I'm not on a team and you are most likely not on a team. If you are, keep that logo so you can replace it with your team logo. But if you're not on a team, just get rid of that and get rid of the name here. I'm going to click on this plus button where it says fit to make this a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing. And then I can scroll up and down with my mouse. And now we have one more thing on this page that we need to update and that's the KWDBA logo. So I'm just going to click on this logo. Until it is highlighted with the blue bars around it. Once I click on that logo, all of my office logos pop up under my assets. I'm going to choose the one that looks similar to that one. I like this one. I'm going to make sure my blue boxes are highlighted over the logo that's on the page. Hover over the logo I want to use and click the circle arrows or the replace logo button. Once I do that, it replaces the logo with the office logo and I don't have to do any resizing. It's already correct. So I like that page. It looks good. This page has no more um, edits to do. And the goal today is to just get a really good generic buyer presentation that I can grab and go. I can print this out, grab and go. So we're just going to choose pages that don't have a lot to, uh, don't have a lot of cust customization. So I'm not going to, I don't think I want that page. Let me go back and I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this page. And then as you can see, it says pages here on this side. So let me move my face. So it says pages 31 and arrows. That's how I close that. And here at the bottom, I have my pages. So it says, let's see, your guide to home ownership was the first page. Client information is the second page. I don't even want this in here because I want generic. I'm going to grab this on any buyer appointment I go to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the page and click on delete and then click yes. Table of contents. I'm going to leave. I don't need anything else in it. 
the third page a sound decision let me make it a little bit bigger so i can see if there's anything in here that i need to update and there's not page four let's just make it bigger nope nothing i need to update page five build your preference profile nothing i need to update page six nothing and you're going to go through all these pages i'm going to speed this up and, and do that and if there's something to edit we'll do that together so you can see here page 10 is going to be your first update you're going to want to put your website url mine just happens to be brinbrewer.kw.com so i'm going to make sure i have these blue around what i want to change i'm going to come up here and click the typewriter button it's in this row of icons at the top. It says typewriter when you hover your mouse over it. And then it says your website URL. So I'm just gonna type in my website URL. Then I'm gonna click save changes and that's gonna change it right here on the page. And we'll keep going and finding all the edits. All right, one more here. So I'm gonna make sure I highlight it, click my typewriter, come in here and say, my URL, save changes. You're going to do your URL. And we're going to just keep looking for edits for things that we need to put our name on. I'm going to take this page out. I'm going to remove this page because you don't have any numbers. You can leave this page in and use the office numbers, but I'm just going to remove it because I don't want to put in any numbers right now. So I'm going to click delete and yes. Same on this next page. And I promise you, they don't know if you've, you've taken a page out of this or not. This review page, I'm taking it out as well. So you don't have any, if you're new to real estate, you do not have any reviews yet. So go ahead and take that review page out. And just keep going through and making sure there's nowhere that you need to add your name or your phone number. And you may just have to make it a little bigger. All right, so here's one that's a little difficult to find. It's called My App. It says Finding Your Way Home has never been simpler. There's places to put your app all throughout these presentations. And where it says ready to download, head to app.kw.com and then XXXXX, those X's are actually supposed to be replaced with your app URL. And to go to that, you are going to go into command to find that app URL. You're going to go into command and you are going to click on consumer, the very last icon at the bottom. And you are going to click on site and app settings here in the top, right? It's underneath the marketplace in the bell site and app settings. And then you're going to click on URLs. This is going to tell you your actual website and your actual app URL. So all I'm going to do is click this copy button and then I'm going to go back over to my editor and paste this right here. And then I'm just going to take that HTTPS out where it says head to app.kw.com slash kw10rclp. So that is my unique app. You will have to follow those instructions. Go to the consumer icon in command, go to site and app settings, and then click on URLs and it'll show you your actual website and your actual app link, your app site, so that people can download your app. And you'll put that here, you'll use the typewriter, you're gonna click save changes, put it in and as you can see this changed it but now it's two lines so I want to put my mouse over this vertical line here and and drag until that is completely on one line okay looks good to me I'm going to go on to the next page and then I've gotten to the very last page for um, my contact information and this one yes we are going to have to update quite a bit. So I'm going to delete the team logo.
my buyer presentation is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make sure I put buyer presentation in the very top. This is the name of my document. So I've named it buyer presentation. Then I'm going to click on this download button here. And then I get to choose the file type. So I'm going to click in here. If I'm going to print this out, I want to do it as a PDF for printing. So that's going to make a higher quality document and PDF for printing. If I'm emailing this, so if you're going to email it or upload it to the Google form that we have for you to turn in your homework, you're going to do PDF standard. But if you're going to print this out or send it to clients, you're going to do PDF for printing. So I'm going to click on PDF for printing and then it says page. So it says page 25. No, I want all pages. So I'm going to select here all pages. So that says 1 through 26. And then I'm just going to click download. We are preparing your file. Please wait. And you can see up here right above my face here, it says preparing. When that's done, a box will pop up for you to save your document to your computer. Once you do that, it's all saved and you have it. You can Print it off if you want to. You can send it to, you know, FedEx or Kinko's, have copies made. You can print some here at the office, or you can email it to people as well. So as soon as that's done, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Mine's still downloading 96%. Here we go. And here's my guide to home ownership, buyer presentation, generic. It's ready for me to grab and go. It's nothing needs to be done to this once I have done it the first time. My buyer presentation. And I like it. It looks good. It's 26 pages. I can bind this and go meet with my buyer on a whim. So I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to help you build this out for yourself. Remember, make it generic so that you don't have to go in here every single time you have a buyer and change these things. You only want to go in here and change it once, and that way you have it and it's ready to go. And look, y'all, I already found a mistake. I forgot to put my app on here. So now I got to go back in and do that. So while I'm doing that, you guys work on your buyer presentation. I look forward to looking through them uh, when you send them to me. All right. Have a good day. Bye.